Good morning, everybody. Hey, guys. It's Trevor. And Lane here. We got an exciting live video we're doing here in front of Ridgedown Court in beautiful Saniston. And you're lucky because Trevor's not wearing his spandex. I don't think the majority of people <laughs> will understand that, uh, that correlation. They will. <laughs> just look at the videos. <laughs> Anyways, let's just move on here. We're going to be serious for once. We're doing a uh, live walkthrough. And, and the idea of this is, is why. Like, why are we doing this, Lane? So, you know, we're back to um, the function of where we can have normal open houses right. where people can come in and we can greet them and everything else like that. But the fact is that a lot of people are on holidays right now. So we just wanted to do this and put it up live. So if you have any questions, please interact with us. Uh, we're going to repost the video later. So you're going to get to be able to uh, actually have a live walkthrough of a house that uh, we currently have for sale here in Central Saanich. And, you know, the world has just been crazy last few years. We used to have an open house. People would come and get five or six people, right? Some of them are neighbors. Some of them are lucky loos, as they call them. <laughs> uh, then COVID happens. We introduce and do this whole virtual live walkthrough concept. Basically allows people sitting on their butts on their couch from home that are shopping or working or whatever the case may be from home to be able to walk through virtually, you know. And, and well, nobody we, wanted to go out, right? That's right. So, and, and, and now we got the, basically the best of both worlds. That's kind of the idea. Now we yeah. can incorporate this. So we've done an, a couple open houses, super successful in person. Yep. But this just allows somebody out there that perhaps is thinking this might work. This is on the radar. I love the area. I, I just don't have any time, you know, or like you said, maybe they're on holidays or something like that. And this will give you an opportunity to get a chance to tour the house with us. We're actually live as well. So what that just means is for some people that are watching currently live, if you do have any questions, throw it in the chat and uh, our assistant over there who has the camera work, charges a lot of money, that guy, by sure. the way, a lot of money. Anyways, uh, he can yell at us and let us know if there's any uh, you know, live questions or anything like that. So okay. first of all, let's talk about the area as we're walking up. Well, so close to the highway, close to Sydney, close to, you know, you're, you're back and forth. You get everywhere, everything you want. Yeah. You got great shops, local farms, produce. Uh, you got the Saanich Fairgrounds just down the road, That's Brentwood right. Bay. Yep. Um, there's, you can take the Brentwood Bay Ferry over to Mill Bay. Like literally you can do everything here. There's great schools, yeah. but it's nice because you can actually have properties that have a little bit more size to them. So, and this one sits on what, Four, a quarter like, acre yeah. in a nice uh, bay, super no, quiet no flow no traffic safe around. it's quiet you know and um which is great even though it's sandwichton and stuff it's far enough from the airport and far enough from oh, the ferry right. but it's also close to both right so yep. you don't hear planes going over this is the first part you know but if you need to jump on the ferry jump on the air, air, airport go to the airport i mean you're 10 15 minutes at the most absolutely at the most way but um yeah so and things about this house in particular you know i mean it was is the first time it's ever been on the market so right. the people that own the home right now uh, had it built it was a custom home uh, and you know when it was built it was built uh, with an extended family kind of in mind and uh, they did have this all opened up but now it's been changed over to a one bedroom fully self or sorry two bedroom yeah. fully self-contained suite um, that would I mean you wait till you see it it's amazing above ground lots yeah. of light it's a really really great space this was built for the mom. The mom, yeah. So, so if you throw that back in your mind, it's not a suite that was built to generate income. Yeah. It's a suite built to built be comfortable and be comfortable. feel like a That's home. 100%. Right? So um, when you come in, of course, down here, you have access to all your laundry facilities and everything else like that. But you also have a gracious den, a really nice spot. You could be a spare room. Uh, you could have it as an office, you know, just away from the upstairs. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of detailing through the house with the pine board and everything else, too. Uh, and it's been extremely well maintained through its whole life. Like, I mean, the people that own the house are pretty meticulous with what they do. Yep. And um, you'll see that when you come up. But it's also been updated since it was built. So, yeah. And even though it's a 20-year-old home, I love getting yeah. in this house because nobody thinks it's a 20-year-old home. Right? You know, you have a little bit of the staircases that may reminisce like 20 years ago, but you know, when you jump in here and you have an incredibly open floor plan, which lane wasn't that common in the 90s and early 2000s. Yeah, no, and I mean, just go with the vaulted ceilings and all the pot lights, uh, lots of natural light on top of that. Nice vistas over the farm and, you know, you can see the coastal mountains in the background. Uh, but, you know, the updating that they've done in here has really brought it back into this new, like, open bright you know all the nice quartz counters the nice appliances under mount sinks 
you know, we got a heat pump that they've installed, which gives you a very, very comfortable feel in the home. Air conditioning, uh, that's right, well, yeah. Yeah, especially because it's been hot for the last few days. Yeah. Um, but you know, again, too, just having a nice open space, great for entertaining because, you know, everybody likes to hang out in the kitchen. Off the uh, dining room, living room here, you've got a really nice deck, really good size. You know, your heat pumps on the outside over here for the air conditioning. And you know, what's really great is um, there's not too much traffic at all, as I see one truck go by. <laughs> but the reality is it's, it's a pretty quiet area. And this, uh, we've been here enough times lately that this backyard, right? You can see from how open it is, the trees are behind. So at the late afternoon part, you're gonna have a nice quiet area, definitely lots of shade, but during the day, you know, if it's sunny, I mean, it's been cloudy in like forever. Um, this is drenched with sun. So if you're a bit of a sun goddess or God, this is the deck for you. Absolutely. Yeah. And just even a couple seconds ago, I just jumped on live uh, really quickly. Yeah. And man, the sun opened up and just boom, the whole yard just lights so, right so sorry, up. Sorry, the sun opened up for you because you went on live. That's correct. That yeah. might be the biggest <clears throat> BS I heard today. No, it's true. But anyways. Uh... Only gets cloudy when you do them. <laughs> <laughs> um, Austin, if you want to flip around, uh, just maybe show anybody that's watching, that's a bit of a lot that's really quite wide. Hey, it's not a very huge deep lot. I mean, the lot goes past that big tree there, but it's very wide. So both on the left and the right, it's a pie-shaped lot because yep. we're in a cul-de-sac, right? But so it's fantastic, it, I guess, if you have kids, dogs. Yeah, anything really. I mean, but uh, it's got some covenant green space behind us here, so it'll always keep us protected and uh, of course private from yeah. the road yeah uh, and uh, yeah it just gives you so much of a nice feel like you're sitting in the forest but yet you're yeah. literally jump down totally and hit the highway come on inside okay so we, we we showed the den when we walked in you go up the staircase you've got this big open very wide open concept kind of living room dining room again vaulted ceilings nice kitchen down the hallway what do we got so we got um, three more bedrooms yes. and uh, two full baths. So, yeah. uh, you know, they've got it set up for, you know, it's not all three bedrooms, but they've got an office in one, they got their master in another, yeah. and then a spare set up. Uh, but it is, you know, they're all really good sized rooms, some updated flooring in here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. good colors. Uh, you know, I mean, you literally walk into this house and you feel like it's a, home, it's eh? a new home. Right? It is, like absolutely. You, and you can, absolutely again tell that it's been meticulously maintained by yeah. the current owners and that's important when you're buying a, a home that well, you know home, you don't a home rental doesn't home have, doesn't have 20 kids in it either right there's just a, a, a couple that's it right yeah a nice young couple that live here just in case they're watching <laughs> so this is a second bedroom over here yeah so again good size rooms got a queen bed in here to represent the size yeah a uh, nice big closet and of course you know they they had a couple of kids when you know and uh now everybody's uh Growing out of the house and, and yeah moved on yeah yeah uh and then a nice walk-in shower in oh, the that, main that's right this right? is really nice yeah Anybody care about the bell hat today? Oh my gosh. Oh, I know. That's uh, probably half an hour early just to make sure because I heard there was a bell hat problem again. Went through Shawnigan Lake and get this on the way to Sha from Shawnigan Lake, you know, uh, where you got a couple of those underpasses where yeah. the bridges, two trucks were too high. Of course. So uh, how do you back a semi truck up when there's traffic both oh. directions stops? Let's just say a lot of people were trying to help, but there were a few people that were not happy. Yeah. <laughs> I would be one of them. Yes. <laughs> but we made it. <laughs> so very nice, interesting. Eh? Yeah, it's yeah. an interesting primary. And, yeah. uh, you know, the way that they have it set up works really, really, really well. Yeah. Um, they've got a lot of built-ins here for extra closet this space awesome. plus another smaller closet. We have mentioned, so many people mention this when they walk in, because this is not something you see, eh? No, and it's like, it's all built in, you know, and there's some millwork and everything that's been done. Yep. Um, but the, the home, you know, again, set up for them the way that they wanted it, and it works really, really well. So you can, yep. you know, come out and you have your water closet all tucked away with tucked a shower. Away, which is really nice. And then you have a soaker tub with the, uh, with the vanity out in here as well. That's right. And uh, th this is actually really nice, you know, the way it's set up, very different, right? And just the angles of it too, you know. I mean, you didn't have, you don't have to leave your bed like this. But the way they've done it, they've actually just used good, good space of the of the room there. 
All right, so that is <laughs> one, two, three bedrooms upstairs. Um, do we talk about price and square footage? I don't think we mentioned that yet. So no, just we haven't. In case, so no. we're one million three hundred ninety-nine nine. Uh, in today's market, that's actually very aggressively priced. This would be a million and a half not that long ago. So the prices have definitely uh, recessed, helped you as the buyer out there to make a good, informed, educated decision without the stress of competing with 100 people for the most part. Yep. Um, so when we went to live uh, uh, a couple weeks ago now almost on this uh, on this property, we wanted to make sure we were priced right. And not only is the area justify it, this beautiful home, but the suite. Well, and it's funny because, you know, with all the feedback that we've had, yeah. it's been so positive. Uh, and then, you know, the the one kind of thing that has come up a couple of times was yep. that the, st the suite is fully self-contained. That's right. Well, but the, you know, the beauty behind that is, is that it can easily be Open connected back up. Like it does not have to stay disconnected because no. it was originally built so That's that right. they could have their mother come in and out of the in house. In fact, it's so easy. If you were to move this, and of course it would be moved, right behind there would be open the doorway. drywall on the yeah. door. So it's that easy. All right, throw my shoes on. All right. Let's walk outside. Austin, follow the lane. Let's go check out the, uh, the suite in the back. Oh, somebody's missing a phone call. But uh, come on inside. This is the suite. And I'll tell you, you're going to be pretty blown away um, by what this really is. So when you walk through the front door, you've got these huge picture frame windows. You've got a natural gas fireplace, TV in a great spot. So a really big kitchen, lots of cabinets. I mean, more cabinets in this than most new houses have sometimes. Uh, but then again, too, now a big living room, you know, and there's quite a bit of big furniture in here, too. So, I mean, this is, you know, if you came in here and you didn't have so much furniture, yeah. there'd be even so more, way more space here. But it's, a, it's about 12, 1300 square feet. So it's a yeah. really good size two bedroom yeah. suite, right? Absolutely. So, yeah, any, any family in law would be more than happy to be down there, right? Well, and that's the thing, too, right now with uh, affordable housing. You know, I see that a lot of people, um, you know, are looking for a house and parents are willing to help their kids get into a home. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're looking for something that they can live in. One of the two bedrooms. You know, six, for six months of the year. Sure. You know, and then sure. the other six months they want to get out of country. You know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. So this is more than... Uh, phenomenal for somebody that's looking to help their kids get into yeah. a big family home that's right and they want to have a little space for themselves and you know what we have the privilege and i, I heard this video on facebook and it's good but we really have the privilege of going in people's homes every day and uh i go in a lot of homes with yes. uh, suites or i go in a lot of like rental suites and they're garbage lean let's be honest right this is nice well and that's the thing because when people are looking with extended family especially yeah um you know, there, there's a huge kind of draw to uh, an above ground How many suite. There's a, a washroom where, where uh, Lane's standing. So it's a full full piece washroom there, eh? Yeah, it's a four piece washroom. So it's a, got the full tub surround shower, and then of course the vanity, and then in suite laundry in the in the unit as well. Oh, I was gonna surprise you. Uh -huh. So you got a real nice, good sized bedroom in here, and then. You have a kitchen, right? Another second kitchen? Is that what this is? Well, wow. there's, there's another fridge, but you know, I always thought this is pretty awesome just in case you go to bed at night and you're a little thirsty when I'm cold beer. Maybe you have your beer in here. But the reality is obviously this being gone, it creates a big open closet and then your washer and dryer tucked way behind over here as well too. So that's really nice. So a real good use of space. And this is a big closet. So again, like you said about big furniture, not yeah. everyone has big furniture. Exactly. They have Average size furniture, all of a sudden this place even looks way bigger. Well, and so this really gives you the best of both situations in a uh, suite, you know. So if right. you are looking for some rental income, let's go outside again. It's going to be great yeah. rental income. Show the good yard. If you are just looking for family, yeah. like, you know, mom or dad or mom and dad want to live uh, downstairs, yeah. Like, you can't really ask for more. So, one of my favorite parts actually uh, of this home is is the yard so austin if you come way over here and then and pan back this way so not only do you got a really big shed right which is nice 
It's all on a concrete the foundation too. That's right. But a nice pie-shaped lot. All these trees behind, and then you look, this is your home on the side, right? <laughs> you go up on your deck and you almost see the ocean. I mean, it's just really, really set up nice, but you're looking at some farms and, and it's a beautiful location. But you got nice deck on top, covered deck below, and then a big size yard. Now you can kind of see how it's a bit fenced off, but that's not the yard. The yard's actually quite a bit bigger than that. Oh, yeah. They've just done this because of their, their puppy dog. Their dog, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the home itself, it's, you know, I mean, the, the exterior is in really great shape. The uh, roof is in really great shape. There's really nothing that's, you know, needing to be done uh, here. You can, you know, unless you don't like some of the colors on the walls. But, you know, other than that, this is really a move-in ready home. So we're about 3,000 square feet. Yep. We're built in 2001. Priced at 1399900 Includes a two-bedroom, fully self-contained in-law family suite in a spectacular area in Saanich. Saanich, not Central Saanich. Uh, is that not Saanich? Well, I've said it like three times, Saanich. Central Saanich. Well, it's Saanich. 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 Yeah. Right? So you've got a really, really great area. Um, and again, it's a good market to be buying right now because the prices have, have gone down a little bit. But we are absolutely appreciative of that fact and priced it to sell. Um, well, and too, I mean, the rental values keep going up. Yeah. Like, if rental prices keep going up. So being able to take advantage of some of that uh, rental income really could help with the mortgage. Well, I'm not saying anything too specific, but I watched something on TV the other day. So Victoria right now is the fifth most expensive place in Canada to rent. An average one bedroom is 1800 on change in Victoria. Average two bedrooms, 2800 and change. So yep. Could you get 2800 bucks? Well, at the end of the day, it's not designed for rental income here. You surely could use that. Um, you know, it's an in-law or family suite, but the reality in the day, if you need that mortgage helper, you got I mean, some options. Good gosh, $2,800 is the average two bedroom rental in Victoria. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of people's mortgages. Well, and it's the reason why we're seeing a large number of first time home buyers and people that are renting getting into the market even as interest yeah. rates are going up because right. the fact is is that interest rates are going up house prices are coming down it's balancing it out yeah but the rental values are continuing to go up you know one more thing i was thinking about just before we end up here so we're in a strata here it's a bare land strata it's only about 60 bucks a month so there's really minimal involvement and cost to that um but what you're going to find all the homes were built in the same time frame, all about 20 years ago, the same developer. And so there's this bay, and then you go down the road, and there's another bay, and all the homes are really, really nice. And there's some real expensive homes, actually, just in the other bay. Yep. Well, but, you know, the strata doesn't really stop anything either, right? So the strata is very simple. There's no restrictions on your animals or anything else like that. Yeah. There's, other than just that it's not a municipal road, you know, and they've had to, you know, attach the sewer system into it. Yeah. That's really the only reason why it's got the strata. Um, but they do do road clearing and yep. the insurance and the management of the strata as well. When you have a really close knit strata like that with only a few lots or nice homes, I mean, we just know this firsthand, you know, people care about their homes, people care yep. about the community, they want what's best for the neighborhood. Um, it's generally not a negative scenario, like you're, if you're nope. in a, a, a condo with, a hundred other residents and you're always fighting about strata it's a, it's a different setup here it's it's a really great little bare land strata so most importantly uh thank you for watching we appreciate the time 7336 ridgedown court mls is 910616 off the top of my head i remember that pretty good sun's eh? coming back sun's coming back it's awesome hope you guys have a great friday saturday sunday hey if you want to look at this house lane what do you got to do just reach out any time get your realtor to uh, send us a message it's very easy to show. Uh, we just need a little bit of notice. Other than that, uh, you can reach out to us at any time. Trevor's cell, cell number is? Uh, so my cell is 250-588-6011. Of course, you can easily find us online. My cell is 250-882-3052. Search victoria.ca, Britain Real Estate Group. I'm Trevor, this lane. Thank you so much for joining us today. Have a great day. See you guys. Cheers.